members of the fourth estate kwa majina naitwa Steven Givinji kutoka West Pokot. Yetu ni machache sana. Mwanzo kabisa tuna support the president wetu 100%. Lakini hii chama ya UDA imeumiza watu wengi sana. Na kilio bado. Kunayo hizi grassroots elections ambazo tunaenda tarehe 26. Ile nduru itakuwa Kenya hii si kidogo and I want to be quoted on that. Kwa sababu mimi najua kuna aspirants wengi huko nje ambao wanapitia mambo mengi sana. Kwa UDA kuna bulldozers ambao they want to be alpha and omega of that party. Na sijui kama mheshimiwa rais amechukua hatua gani yeye kama party leader and his deputy Regadi Gashagwa. They are supposed to have intervened to these matters. Mimi na shanga, why are they not breaking their silence? Mimi naomba, kama itawezekana, mweshimu wa rais, ita hawa viongozi wote. Kwa sababu wote, wewe ni baba. Ita hawa viongozi wote. Kuna mweshimu wa kama kimani ngujiri. Hako na experience ya over 30 years. Huyo ni mtu ambaye anaweza wekwa pale, kiongozi anaweza wekwa pale, apeane ushauri. Kuna o viongozi ambao wamesahurika kama akina mudhama. We don't hear people like Mudama, Johnston Mudama. Waletwe pale, waulizwe, ni mambo gani ambayo inachanganya hii maneno ya pati mpaka watu wanatoroka, wanataka kutorokea pande ingine. Sisi tunaona ni vizuri. Watu waletwe pamoja na ikue ni chama ambayo kila mtu ataona inaleta national figure. Lakini sasa ukiangalia kila mahali watu wananalamika. Dhuluma. A very good example hapa Nakuru. Last election I was here. Mheshimiwa Kimani Ngujiri ile vitu alifanywa ni ukarabati kabisa. Hebu nijaribu kunieleza hii hesabu. Ati mtu anapenda rais, mtu anapenda governor, mtu anapenda senator, ikifika kwa MP anachagua mtu ya opposition. How is that possible? Kama sio ukarabati na pesa ambazo zinatumika. Hiyo ndiyo baadhi ya mambo ambayo unaona watu wanafika mahali wanaona hapana enough is enough. Na lazima kila mtu ajaribu kutafuta mbinu zingine. Na mbinu zingine ni lazima mtu aone kama nimepigiwa hesabu hapa na mimi nipige hesabu bora tukutane wapi? Sugui. Hii njia ni moja. Njia tunaenda sugui. Na sisi tuko nyuma ya mheshimiwa rais. Akisema left ni left, akisema right ni right. Ni hayo tu kwa sasa. After tufanya uchaguzi, wale wamekalia hiyo chama hapa, waliandika sister zao, nephew, dereva, walimu yao, one party. Ikaajini watu karibu saba. Even they did not apply kulingana na katiba. You apply, you pay certain money kusema, ungetaka kuwa nominated. You follow, I'll give you that copy. Nobody, it's a dictatorship. Wakaweka familia yote. Sasa mimi na watu yangu ya bahati. Mimi kweli mnaniangalia mnaona mimi ni mtu wa kushinda na uchaguzi. Mimi ile ujuzi niko naye. Si nilipangiwa. Sasa mnataka niende hapo hapo. Mkikuwa nasemaga ukiumwa na nyoka nyeusi, ukiona kama nyeusi unaruka. Kwa sababu unafikiria mambo ile nyo ile nyoka. Mimi kwa majina anaitwa John Juguna. Nilikuwa kwa kinyang'anyiro kiliopita kule Charangani. Na inji nataka kusema kwamba ni inji ya demokrazia. Kila mtu ana haki yake. Mahali ambao roo yake napenda, anaweza kwenda. Mimi na ungana na mwishimi wa ngunjiri, kimani, ambao ye ni chairman wetu wa Lifty Vare, ambao alituongoza Sugoi 1, kuenda baka kule Sugoi. Kutafutia mwishimi wa William Ruto, pamoja na Rigadi Gashag wa Kura, na wakaweza kupata. Nataka kusama hivi. Chama ya UDA, uh, sisi tumekuwa ndani. Na kuna mambo ambao mengi tunaangalia. Kwa sababu saa hii wameenda fungua bottom. Wakisema ya kwamba, kama unataka kuwa member, lazima uwe utoe shilingi miambili. Na kama unataka kuwania kitichochote, lazima utoe shilingi elfu moja. Kama unataka ya eneo bunge, shilingi elfu tano. Kama unataka kuingia account, 20,000. Na hapo mbeleni, tulikuwa tunajua ya kwamba 
chama ya UDA ni bottom up. Na leo hii sasa imefika mahali pesa ndio inahitajika huko. Na wale hawana pesa na ni viongozi wazuri watapatikana aje. Si kutakuwa na shida kwa hiyo chama. That's why unaona mimi kama mimi ambao nilikombea charangani na kukawa na ujanja ya chama hata kule charangani wanajua na hata hiyo kiti ya charangani ilipotea kwa sababu ya usembe ya pati. so haina sioni kama kuna shida kwa sababu sisi wote ni wafuasi ya mheshimiwa William Ruto ambao ni rais na Rigathi Gachagua barabara ya kufika Sugoi tunaweza tumia barabara yote na tukutana na wale wengine huko Sugoi kwa hivyo mimi sioni kama kuna matatizo lazima mtu kama mimi think twice kuhusu mambo ya chama ya UDA ili niuma kutumia pesa mingi na baadaye nikapotelea huko Mstuni na hata hiyo kiti ya Charangani UDA ikapotesha kwa sababu ya usembe ya UDA jina langu ni David Wanyoike kutoka Kakamega ambaye alikuwa mwania nji wa kiti cha MCA katika eh Shebe Road around your town eh, kama mjuavyo mbio ya mgambo ikilia kuna jambo Eh, ijakuwa ni jambo rahisi ambapo tukisikia chama wetu Kemani Gunjiri kutamka kwamba ametoka katika chama cha UDA katika Nakuru. Sisi kama wapenzi wake wa karibu na ambaye tumeandamana naye kwa muda mrefu na ambaye tunajua ushupavu wake na ambaye tunajua ni msimamizi sana na kiongozi chupavu wa Nakuru tunajua Nakuru ikiwa na shida kuna shida Kenya. Na pia tunajua nakuru pia ikipiga chafia Kenya inakuwa na homa. Kemani Ngunjiri si kiongozi ambaye tunaweza puuza. Tumemuona katika serikali tofauti na mikakati yake na tumemuona katika harakati za wakati hata wa serikali za bazo zilizopita. Na jambo ambalo ningetaka kuwashauri pia hata na viongozi ambao wamemzingira hapa na pia hata viongozi ambao wako katika nchi. Ni vizuri wakae na watafakali jambo hili. Sio jambo rahisi ati kwamba mtoto ambaye umemzaa, umemlea, amekaa kwa muda mrefu na ameanza kukua. Wakati ana kuwa labda ni msichana wa kuolewa, ndio labda unasema huyu sio wangu. Ni jambo ambalo la kutafakari na kufikiria zaidi. Ambapo ningesema mimi kutoka all the way from western kukuja kushikana na mheshimiwa wangu njiri ni kwa sababu najua na nilisikia kwamba kilio chake ni cha haki na ni ya kwamba ambapo kama hii county ya Nakuru viongozi ambao wako naye amejaribu kama mjuavyo amepigania hii eh, 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 hospitali ya memorial na mambo mengi baadhi yametendeka katika mji huu wa Nakuru amejaribu hapa sasa ndiyo inafika inakuwa ati kwamba ni breaking point. Sisi tunamuunga mkono kwa dhati. Ni kwa sababu sisi malengo yake na penye amekuwa anatuelekeza kila wakati ni kumuunga rais mkono na deputy wake Regathi Gachagua. Na kwa sababu tunajua pia wao wawili viongozi wa nchi yetu ni watu wako na harakati na mikakati na wanajitahidi katika ambavyo Kenya itakavyo kuwa nzuri. Ni vizuri pia wa viongozi ambao wako chini tunawashika mkono na kuwapa nguvu. Kwa hivyo mimi ningesema ni ya kwamba Kemani Gonjiri kuwa katika hayuko UDA katika eh, eneo hili la Nakuru. Sio kusema ati ya kwamba hayuko pamoja na rais na deputy. Tunajua juhudi zake na ako na area nyingi sana za kumshikilia. Na sisi hata tukiwa kule mashinani yeye huwa anatuamuru tufanye hivi tuwafanye hivi ili serikali yetu iweze kuzidi kutikita mizizi. Kwa hivyo sisi zetu ni kuja tu kumuunga mkono na pia kuambia viongozi pia wanakuru wafikirie na watafakari haya. Sio jambo rahisi na kemani sio mtu wa kupuuzwa. Majina yangu ni Isaac Njoroge from Lodo Turkana County and uh, the first time we went to Sugoi it is Mheshimiwa Okayan who took us there and uh, we are his foot soldiers at the grassroots and to lack washua mheshimiwa we do not fear being alone our only fear is being in a room full of people we cannot trust thank you when you come to the county there is a problem you know the messes which have been done here chama hapa imekuwa ni watu binafsi watu binafsi wamekuwa ndio wenye chama 
And you know that. Na imetuletea shida mingi sana. Na kwa sababu hizo shida, mi nataka kuondokea hiyo shida. Serikali yetu iko na chama mingi sana, almost 18. Ile rais ameunganisha imetengeneza coalition pamoja. Na tunaomba yeye pia aendelee. Kama kuna vya mazingine, ataweza fanya coalition na tuwe na amani. Kukosa demonstration, kukosa uvujaji ya vitu, kukoja harassment ya mama mboga. Tuwe na amani, we are supporting for that. Mimi ni kuwa mtu naangalia mbele. Nikaona Wacha hiyo chama ya UDA ni wachie wale wana kusika nae. Wawe na hiyo chama, waendese hiyo chama. Mimi itatafuta apart from those 17, 18 parties. I'll look for one party. Hile haita kuwa na dispute na chama ingine hapa kwetu. Ni kwa sabu nataka amani. Tuendeshe hiyo chama kwa njia mzuri, tutafutia la isikura. Kwa sabu tukibaki na one party called UDA hapa kwetu, and I know you for the estate, that you know the ground will not be good for us. It will be very hostile. The same county here in Askia, ile patraiza imeletwa, ya mafia kuku, mafia ngombe, nini, mafia punda, the people who are doing that, wametoka hapa kwetu. The same place. The people who have grabbed the land, kila pahali, I don't want to mention because you, you for, the, for the estate, you know, grabbing land everywhere hapa, is the same system we have part Mimi nimejaribu na mnajua mimi ni mtu ya amani na nimejaribu zaidi. Hata rais anajua I have told him several this is a problem. And one of the thing I clarified even to the president and my the people in the big house. Ni kwa nini zaidi rais akikuja hapa hata nyi watu wa media mnajua. Mikutano yake si rais unione. Ni kweli? Why? Kwa sababu sitaki ikuwe kama ile mambo niliona bomet ile niliona kilicho, ile niliona mero, ile nilimiona rali. You go there, instead of giving the president chance to, he has come to tell us what he can do for us, ama tumuombe. Inakuwa grupu imebebo na magali, wanapewa pesa, wanaanza kushambuliana, kama raisi ya mekana mnaia na wangalia. To me, nikuwa mzee, is not fair. And that's why, when he's here, I don't want to go in the meetings. What do I call mobilize? Waanza kutukanana, kupiganisha wanainchi, kama vile niliona huko kilisoi. I don't want that. I want when the president come, all of us tunasikiza, hametuletea nini? Na viongozi wale wa hiko wanamuambia, tunataka hii na hii. Anatuambia hili anawezekana, na hili anawezeka. That's how the peaceful I am myself. And that's what I want. Sita ikuanda pahali hiko na mushambuliano ya pesa. Imekua calling people, giving people pesa. Mushambulia fulani, mushambulia fulani. Si mupikane kama raisi ya yuko. When the president has come, he is coming kutuambia vile nataka na vile kitu wa metuletea. So even himself, he is getting tired kwa kuangalia watu yaka wakipikana. I think I've answered that.